Another one of the drills we do almost on a daily basis, it's one of my favorite ones, is what we call the short hop series. Again, it's a, it's a progressive drill. We start on two knees. We start with no gloves on. We really want the players now to focus on hand position in comparison to your body. We want your hands to be away from your body. We want to make sure your chin stays down. I want to make sure in many cases I can see the button on their hat. And again, we're always working on our glove action now. Remember we talked earlier in the tape how our hands are going to work. They're going to go down, up, and in. So by being on two knees, we can really isolate now how our hands are working. We want to make sure we carry our hand, not at 6 o'clock, but at 7 o'clock, and make sure that we stay down on the baseball. It's our belief that if your chin comes up, so do your hands, and there's a high probability of the ball getting below your glove. So we never want to see that happen. It's one of our goals with our infielders is during the course of a season, we don't want any below glove errors, and it rarely happens here because we emphasize some of these drills. So I'm going to walk you through what we call the short hop series. Again, we start on two knees. The players are bouncing the ball, short hopping it back and forth, working on their hands now, down, up, and in action, reaching. From there, we go to the glove on. We stay on two knees. Same thing, short hopping the ball back and forth, working hard and making sure we get the up part in. Securing the baseball away from our body. From there, we stand up. We set our feet. Again, notice that their left foot is slightly behind their right to free up that left side of the body. That's the side that we want to field on. And now they're going to do it from a standing position, really emphasizing the glove down, up, and in. Notice the chin stays down, head stays down, and they're reaching as far out as they can away from their body. Now, the next one is they're going to freeze on the up part. I want them to feel securing the ball in that up position. They're going to freeze for like a one count, and then they'll short hop it back to their partner. Go ahead. Freeze. That's good. Then pull it in. There you go. Pull it in. Good. Freeze. Hold it. Head stays down. Good. The next sequence would be what we call sway drill. So now infielders are going to short hop it back and forth. They're going to short hop one to the left foot and to the opposite foot. And what we're doing is now we're developing a little flexibility in that lower half. We want to work on that hip area, make sure we have some flexibility, getting comfortable with their glove, going back and forth. It's a great conditioner as well for our infielders. The next one as we say, short hop with footwork. So now they're going to feel the ball, and they're going to pop their feet. They're going to get their feet ready for the throw. So they're going to feel it, bam, bam, right, left, as they get ready to deliver the ball. So feel it, pop your feet. Notice these foot, this foot pattern is very quick. Their feet are very short. We don't want to be a long strider as an infielder. We want to take short, choppy strides in preparation for the throw. 